Um, so now it's time to wrap it up, and I'll just sum up uh, my conclusions. So the first thing I showed is that none of the studies provides good evidence, evidence that decisions are made at these early times, that they're made before the person is aware of making them. Second, none of the studies shows that the point of no return is hit at an early time. And third, even if the studies had shown that, we aren't entitled to move from a judgment that decisions are made unconsciously in those studies or the point of no return is hit early in those studies to the judgment that all decisions are made unconsciously or whenever we decide the point of no return was hit before we made that decision. And those are the claims that are supposed to justify the proposition that we never decide freely. So all of these studies, in fact, leave it open that we do have free will. So what I have shown is that none of the studies I talked about shows that there's no free will. And I think in light of uh, some of the things I talked about early on in this lecture, how some people's behavior got worse as a consequence of lowered confidence in free will, and of course the email I got, um, I think this is good news and we should be happy about it and I'm closing on that positive note. <laughs>